Hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions, and today I'm going to be going over with you how to create a landing page in MailChimp. So first, let's just talk about what a landing page is. Um, it's a little website that is hosted by MailChimp, and it houses your email sign-up form. If you want a URL that you share with people to get them to sign up for your email list, that's what a landing page is for. And maybe it's for a special event, Maybe you don't have a website yet. Maybe you're promoting something like very specific um, or you're promoting like a giveaway or a freebie, but like only for people who sign up through that specific landing page, then that is why you need a landing page. So let me show you how to build one. As always, we're gonna start on our main page here. And to create a landing page, we're going to go up to the create button, that little pencil and click landing page. Now MailChimp offers a whole lot of template options here. Um, these pre-designed ones look beautiful, but have a lot of parts to them. And I like my landing pages to stay simple. So we're just gonna start with this one, grow your list. MailChimp's landing page builder looks a whole lot like their classic email builder. So we have blocks for all of the different types of content, images, text, etc. And then under the style icon, um, we have, the landing page broken up into different sections. And this is where you can set what color is in the background, what the fonts are, what the colors of the fonts and the colors of the links are. So what are the most important things to have in your landing page? Well, first you need to think about what the purpose of the landing page is. Now, for our purposes here today, my purpose is to get you guys to sign up for my email list. Um, so we will make sure that this email sign up form is right front and center, and I will make sure that like graphically it really stands out on the page. I'm going to make sure that my graphics and my headlines point the customers in that direction as well. You want to talk about what will be the benefit to your customer of signing up for your email list. If you're selling a product or a service, plug your product or service, why you are different, why are you are a benefit to the person signing up for it. And you put that right up top here. If you want to add some more information about your company, I'd recommend putting it underneath the sign up form because again, our point is to get them to sign up for the emails. And then once they're signed up, we can start emailing them with more information about your company, more information about your products. So when it comes to actually designing your landing page, there's a couple of things that are different than, than making an email. One of them is that when you are picking the colors of the background, you get two different colors per section. One is the color of this outside portion and one is the color of the inside portion. I'm gonna go through and change up the inside of mine. You will also find that when it comes to fonts, you have a much larger variety of fonts than you will in an email. So you can choose to go with the same as your email or do something that fits your brand better. So I'm gonna buzz through um, doing some of the design work here and then I will pause and show you what I'm up to um, as things get more specific to landing pages. Okay, you'll see that I changed this whole in, inner section to this bold blue. I love having some color in my life, so I'm gonna share that with all of my followers. I have created a graphic here with Canva. If you sign up for my email list, you will get a PDF with everything that I recommend, again, for email marketing, and one of the things is Canva. Um, here is the text that I am putting in here. Um, email marketing is constantly changing. And then here's what you'll get in my email list. And I put that in bold. It's always um, best if things are easily skimmable in your emails and in your landing pages. And when you sign up, you will get this sheet of email marketing links you need with all of my favorite stuff. Here's a graphic I created for that. And then here is our sign up form. Now the fields for your sign up form are something that you set up in MailChimp, there's a sign up form builder and we will talk about that in another video. Um, I will make sure to link it below once I have that up for you. Um, and then here you pick what you want them to do to sign up. So they have to put an email, an email address. That's the whole idea. And then I like to do first name and last name. You may also want to include birthday if you want to send out birthday emails. You can do a thing called groups if you want them to self-select into a specific category. 
Um, I'm going to demand first names and last names. Um, I would, however, recommend not having too many categories. If there's a lot to fill out, people will sometimes hesitate to do it and really you want them to get on your mailing list. Now this is what will our button say and then what will happen after they subscribe. So you can have a confirmation message, you can have them go to a different landing page, or you can have them go to a web address, like you can have them go back to your website. I'm gonna do a confirmation message. I'm gonna make it more casual. Yippee. And I'm dealing with this crazy background, so I need my text to be white. Hop over to style here. I'm going to make my color of my button this bold pink that I use. Boom, that's a button. The other thing I wanted to show you is like on this graphic here, one of the things that this can do that the um, email box can't is you can add a drop shadow. And then at the bottom here, I'm going to put spacer and my social media links. I almost forgot. Um, since I am saying that when you sign up for my email list, you'll be getting this PDF, I wanna make it clear that it's not gonna show up right away, that it's gonna show up in an email. So I need to make sure that I say that. Um, I'm gonna be pasting this in there and anytime you paste from a different document, I recommend using this little button here, the little clipboard with the W and paste right into there. All right, so that is set. I'm going to check it out in preview. You always wanna make sure that everything looks good on desktop and in mobile. And then we're gonna set up everything that we need on the back end. So we're gonna save and close. I'm gonna go ahead and title my page PDF. This is just for me, so I can find it easy. I can update this URL. I'm going to keep mine underneath this MailChimp domain name, not my custom domain name that I use for my website. Now, audience and tags. This is how will the folks who sign up through this landing page be organized in your audience? So let's click on it. You get to choose what audience they go into. Hopefully you just have one audience. I'm going to want to tag these folks. You don't have to, if you just want them to join your regular audience with no special label to them, then you leave this off. But I am sending out a PDF that I promised them on my landing page. And so I wanna make sure that they get it. And I wanna make sure that that PDF isn't going to just anyone who signs up, only the folks who sign up through this landing page. So I'm going to give them a tag. So I'm gonna create a new tag here. I'm calling it links download. And then I'm gonna save that. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and publish it. Now this is the URL for my landing page. You can take this and copy it and share it on your social media. Um, ask people to say, hey, sign up for my newsletter and give them this link. They'll go right to that landing page and they can sign up. And if you wanted to get into your landing page at another time to edit it or to unpublish it, um, it will now live in your campaigns. Well, I hope that that helped you out. That landing page is live now. So go ahead in the box below, click on it, sign up for my email list, and I will send you that PDF. It'll show up right in your inbox. If you want to know how to set up an automated welcome email just like that one, um, I will link to the video here on how to do that. Um, go ahead and ask any questions that you want in the box below. Check out all of my other tutorials and I'll see you around.